before, before the election in November, or about the same time, we'll be voting here in our own election. Yes. Uh, I noticed in your column, I think it was last week, referring to the front runner in the Democratic uh, column, that many people who supported him here in New York State, uh, without possibly realizing the point that you made in your uh, column, that his wife is a Jew. And as Torah Jews, when we support somebody who is an example of an intermarriage, what are we really saying? I'd like to hear your comments or, or some clarity on that, on that subject. I can only say here what I you know, wrote there, that the primary in this state, the Democratic primary, shows it was a glaring example of the two tragedies that face American Jews. The two deaths that face American Jews. On the one end, there was, of course, Jackson a personification of a Jew of anti-Semitism. And on the, and on, on the other hand, a candidate who is married to a Jewish woman. If he wins the election, it'll be the greatest boost for intermarriage ever. She will be in, invited to a hundred luncheons of Hadassah in St. Abraham. And every Jew who, who Every Jew who had no other argument to his children, except the odds on, uh, on, a, on a good marriage, if it's an intermarriage, are not good. The child will come back and say, what are you talking about? I may yet marry the uh, president. I think it is, it is an outrage that I, I certainly haven't heard one Jewish organization come out against him because of this issue. <coughs> Maybe there were, but I didn't hear it. I haven't heard one, one rabbi come out against it. Maybe there were, but I didn't hear it. I think that for those two reasons, intermarriage and Jesse Jones, you must <coughs> punish the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is, is the issue here, certainly on Jesse Jackson that a Democratic Party allows an open Jew hate to run, and it and gives him honor and money and support. If he would have been white, they would have withdrawn their support from him. If he would have been a Ku Klux Klan or a Birch, they would have said, we wash our hands of this person. Instead, he is lionized, he is honored, he is glorified, Caucus shakes his, his hand, and Gore shakes his hand, and they will smile, and we say nothing. The Democrat, I'm not, I, I'm not telling anybody here to vote for, George, for uh, Bush. What I'm saying is to vote against the Democratic Party, punish them, and don't vote for any Democratic candidate on any level unless that person gets up <laughs> and makes a public statement like, like Koch. Don't vote for Jesse Jackson. Then vote. Otherwise, don't. Punish the party. The blacks, if it would have been a white race, the blacks would have been boycotting and marching and demonstrating, and the Jewish silence here is unbelievable and shameful and says so much about the tragedy of what has happened to us, not only as the Jews, but as decent people. No self-respect. So, if in this election, if you're still here, I hope that you'll be there voting for your meat. <laughs> if you're still here, if you're still cocky, I'm, I'm not telling you to vote for anyone. But certainly don't vote them. Don't give money. Because they have contempt for Jews. They are convinced that they can do anything and Jews will always vote for them. Well, don't. Don't. Teach them a lesson on your way to Israel. <laughs> <laughs>